What's up, everybody? This is David Warren, Dead King Los Angeles, LearnToCut.com. These are the Oster Fast Speed, Oster Speed Line Clippers. They're the same exact clipper. They just changed the names and the color on some of the cases, but the clippers the exact same. The blades are the exact same. I'm going to show you how to zero gap the blade properly on your Oster Fast Speeds or your Oster Speed Line Clippers. This is how I personally manipulate this blade. Um, there's no other videos out on YouTube showing you how to do this. Everyone else is telling you to push the lever back and slide the bracket forward. That's, I mean, that's obvious. But this is uh, how you can properly do it. And um, the way that I'm going to show you how to uh, customize your blade, you'll get the best possible cut. And your, uh, your, your blade will cut a little faster. You'll be more efficient. So check it out. There are a lot of videos on YouTube that tell you to... Um, move this side piece back and adjust the lever that'll allow you to get it close or to uh, to take this to take this bracket off and push it up or actually make spaces in these back holes but both of those two strategies are, are not the best way to um, to get your osters to zero gap and they don't even get them to zero gap they get them close to zero but they don't get them to zero as you can see this is the blade that I've taken off. This is the um, Oster Gold PM blade. It comes standard on these on these clippers. And uh, one thing about Oster is uh, it's inside cutting blade on all, on a lot of the blades is it's 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 the same and it's compatible. So uh, these classic '76 blades. There's a number one blade. It's a detachable blade. Okay. Now what you're going to do is, you're going to take a number one blade, you're going to unscrew it, and you're going to take the cutting blade off of the number one, um, the number one blade, cutting blade off the Oster number one. And as you can see, this is the cutting, this is the cutting blade from the uh, Oster Speedline clippers. You're gonna not use this cutting blade, and you're gonna substitute it with the uh, the number the, the cutting blade from the number one. And um, what that's gonna do is that's gonna give you more space, and that's gonna allow, as you can see, those teeth. This blade is just slightly longer. Okay, but if you if you notice in the center, that's shaped the same, and that's shaped the same. It's because Oster, the moving piece inside their clippers, it's the same exact size. So the cutting blades are interchangeable. A lot of people don't know that. So you have slightly finer, longer teeth on the blade from this detachable guard. And that's going to give you uh, a very smooth cut, and that's going to allow you to move the teeth all the way up on this blade without manipulating the clipper and um, and damaging the structure of it by trying to uh, you know jam the guard all the, jam the lever all the way down or trying to push this bracket all the way up after you you know made the holes bigger as some people like to do. And you know that that's not a very safe way to um, to have good operating clippers. What you should what you should do is just uh, customize your blade, as I've done, and um, that will allow you to get the uh, cutting blade on the Oster Speedline all the way, all the way zero gap. You can you can you know go as close as you want, and uh, this will take the line out of a ball fade. Uh, and give you very, very good, very good, uh, good results. So uh, everything's the same. Like I said, instead of this, instead of this blade, you're gonna use this blade. Replace, as you can see, structurally, they're the same. that blade on, get your gold PM, and place that blade.
And now, as you can see, even if now you can already see those teeth are far to to the edge of this uh, top blade. You know, as you're going to get much closer cut, much closer cut than if I would have been using the original cutting blade. So like I said, take the cutting blade off of your number one detachable guard. Swap it out, and that's how you correctly uh, get the uh, ostrich speed lines to zero gap. Uh, once you find where you want them to be, adjust it, tighten them up, and uh, they'll run great. This is David Warren, Dave King, Los Angeles, LearnTheCut.com. Um, showing you how to uh, modify your ostrich speed lines to zero gap them correctly and uh, you'll get the best cut possible. Thanks for tuning in.